This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. This article here is from The Rolling Stone and it's called Malin Manson Accuser Files Amended Lawsuit Detailing Alleged Sexual Assault. And the key word to keep in mind here is alleged because there's really no good evidence and nothing's been proved. So let's just keep that in mind. So basically, this is about Ashley Waters here who claims Manson's lawyers threatened to retaliate against her if she participated in Evan Rachel Wood's upcoming Rising Phoenix documentary on HBO, which is also full of allegations and no proof or evidence. In an amended lawsuit filed Friday, lawyers for former Marilyn Manson assistant Ashley Walters stated that she repressed the memories of much of the sexual abuse and battery she claimed she endured during her time with the shock rocker, only confronting what occurred following therapy sessions in the fall of 2020 after she got the email from Ilma Gore and Evan Rachel Wood, she remembered that, oh, this must have been what happened to them too. Coincidentally, it was the same thing, but I had forgotten all that. I don't know, man. Look, this is just my feelings here, but this feels like a bunch of BS, man. I couldn't remember. I repressed the memories. I'm no practicing or professional psychiatrist, but I don't know, man. This seems like very excusey to me. Walters first sued the singer, born Brian Warner in May 2021. Manson's lawyers attempted to have the lawsuit thrown out in January 2022 on the basis of statute of limitations, but the judge overseeing the case declined to rule on that motion until a later date. The amended lawsuit obtained by Rolling Stone comes months after a similar lawsuit filed against Manson by a Jane Doe victim was briefly dismissed because the accusations fell outside California's statute of limitations. That lawsuit was refiled in September 2021 with Doe's lawyers arguing she repressed the memories of the alleged sexual assaults and that the delayed discovery rule keeps the lawsuit inside the stature of run-on sentences. Do they use punctuation here? I guess there's some, but man. All right. Inside the stature of limitations. While Walters could not recall many of the specific acts of intimidation, we got an article out of it. Wow, let's make an article about someone who can't remember the abuse that was allegedly from Manson, who happens to be this huge rocker with a lot of money and super fame. Where was I? Threats and coercion until fall of 2020 or later, the compilation of numerous threatening and violent events instilled a constant state of fear of retribution and retaliation should plaintiff in any way confront defendants Walter's lawyers right in the amended lawsuit. This also contributed to the fact that plaintiff was unable to access many of the memories of her abuse until the effects of these threats and coercion subsided due to the public exposure of Warner's abuse and the loss of his power in the industry when even his record labels and management dropped their representation of defendants. So she's saying she couldn't actually freaking remember it until someone else accused Marilyn Manson? Well, that would make perfect sense according to what Manson's saying that the allegations are actually coordinated and worked on together because of course she couldn't remember it until she was told what to remember. And the thing to remember was to line up with what the other accusers were saying. So she's actually kind of proving his side with this article. Maybe Rolling Stone is like a double agent and they're also on Marilyn Manson's side because after all, he's the musician. They're the, you know, what are they, website, paper now, magazine, whatever they are now in their current form, reporters on musicians. Walter's many allegations against Manson remain intact in the new filing, but emphasized to retaliate that they were repressed memories. However, Walter's lawyers added that since the initial filing, Walter's was also threatened by Manson's counsel with retaliatory legal action if she took part in the upcoming Rachel Evan Wood, Evan Rachel Wood, I always get that name mixed up, it's so weird, documentary Phoenix Rising that details the alleged abuse of the actress suffered while with Manson, let's say it again, alleged abuse, alleged abuse, not actual abuse, or we could also say the suppressed imaginary abuse as of right now until it's proven, which it 
Probably can't be. After that two-part documentary was announced in January, Manson's legal team filed a lawsuit against Wood suing her for defamation, emotional distress, and impersonation over the internet. Phoenix Rising premieres March 15th and 16th on HBO. Wait a minute. They left out a huge detail. Impersonating an FBI agent. Not just impersonation. So why the F-U-C-K wouldn't Rolling Stone mention that she's being sued for impersonating an FBI officer? Maybe they're taking Wood's side? Maybe they're not being fair and balanced here with reporting? Walter's lawyers continued, defendants should not benefit from Manson's physically, emotionally, and psychologically debilitating and threatening behavior by being permitted to use the statute of limitations as a shield. Well, the reason that exists, the reason there's a statute of limitations is because after a certain amount of time, you could just say, well, this person did this to me 12 years ago. My word versus theirs. What do you think? And that's not how the court works. The court works on proof and evidence and facts. That's what the court is and is supposed to be. Think about it. Beyond the shadow of a doubt. Can you prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that Malin Manson abused any of these women? Without a doubt. Meaning, I say the sun's up there in the sky. There's no shadow of a doubt. Meaning, when I say, when water freezes, you get ice. There's just no doubt about it. Can you say that for these accusers? Beyond a shadow of a doubt. That's the thing. I'm open to a few, you know, corrections. I'm open to some stories that are possibly true. That possibly there was a little more than simple, you know, bondage. Maybe things went too far. Who knows? Slightly physical. But I can't say beyond the shadow of a doubt, I've got complete confidence that it was abuse. Manson's lawyer did not respond to Rolling Stone's request for a comment at press time. Walter's lawsuit is one of four that Manson is currently facing in addition to the Jane Doe lawsuit last April. Game of Thrones actress Esme Bianco filed a lawsuit claiming Warner R. Woodard her, whipped her, held her captive, and otherwise sexually battered her during a tortured dating relationship and she had a stock photo picture which was really fake her career like most of these women i think all of them pretty much is pretty much over except for this then they list why ashley morgan smithline is suing Marilyn manson sexual battery intentional infliction of emotional distress human trafficking and unlawful imprisonment among other allegations allegations keyword of the video allegations and they reiterate that he's being sued four times and they say he's a disgraced rocker and again alleged sexual predator you guys let me know what you think down below rolling stone is supposed to be on the musician's side really they should look at things from both angles they support musicians but i guess these days they're just more leaning towards toilet paper status than actual balance and good reporting. I'm doing pop culture, Death vs. Heard, Marilyn Manson, Celebrity News. Subscribe button right down there. If you press it, I'll be pretty happy. If you don't, I guess I'll be sad, but I'll get over it, make a new video, something like that. See you next time.